Welcome to EPG Patshala lecture series on the subject of electronic science paper 5. Title of this paper is microprocessors and microcontrollers. In this paper you will learn about 4 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit and 64 bit microprocessors. More emphasis is given on 8 bit microprocessors and microcontrollers where we will learn hardware architecture, assembly language programming, features and applications of these microprocessors. For higher microprocessors, we will learn features and the basic building blocks and their applications. We know that in today's modern technological world, everything has become smart. We have to rely on all smart devices. Which device makes these things smart? It is nothing but the microprocessor. To know about the microprocessor, the basic requirement is that you must know semiconductor devices and some concepts from digital electronics like logic gates, uh, combinational circuits and sequential circuits. With all these things, now we are ready to turn to our module number 1 which is introduction to microprocessors and evolution of microprocessors. After learning this module, you will know the difference between 4 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit and 64 bit microprocessors on the hardware level and their applications. What is microprocessor? Microprocessor is nothing but digital integrated circuit manufactured by using semiconductor switches. These semiconductor switches are nothing but the transistors. You might have learned about the logic families and their characteristics. Microprocessors are fabricated using one of these logic families called MOS technologies. It is fabricated using large scale integrated circuit technology. Large scale integrated circuit consists of 100 to few thousand logic gates on one chip while very large scale circuit consists of many thousand logic gates on the one chip. Microprocessor is called as the programmable logic device. The functioning of microprocessor depends on both the hardware and software. Hardware consists of various functioning blocks constructed using logic gates, while software consists of sequential arrangement of the instructions written in either low language like assembly language or using high level languages known as program or code. Because of the facility of making it work according to the software written by the user, it is called as programmable logic device. Microprocessor is capable of performing arithmetic, logical and data transfer operations. It can also perform IO operations so that input in the form of the numbers or digital signal can be taken from an external device and the output could be sent to the external device for displaying, storing or for controlling purpose. It is capable of performing some functions to control the flow of operation. Some other functions such as decoding the instructions and generating the timing signals that are necessary for performing different arithmetic, logical and data transfer operations are also performed by the microprocessor. Most of the microprocessor and microcontroller based system have some common building blocks as shown in figure. The central processing unit in this figure is nothing but the microprocessor. It takes the instructions from memory, input data from I.O. devices and processes the information according to the instructions taken from the memory. To transfer the data and instructions from memory and I.O. devices, bus 
unit is used. Bus is nothing but the collection of conducting wires. After processing the information, output is given back either for storage in memory or to display or to control the external environment such as temperature, pressure, humidity, water level or robotic arm. Now let us have a look at some common features of all microprocessors. Word size of a microprocessor depends on the size of data that can be processed by it. Size of the first microprocessor was only 4 bit. With rapid development in VLSI technology, the word size has been increased to 64 bit while the physical size of microprocessor has been decreased by considerable amount. Though 32 and 64 bit processors are used in high end applications, 8 bit and 16 bit microprocessors are also in use today especially for training purpose and in low end applications. As wide range of processors is available, selection of appropriate processor for specific application is a challenging task. The most important feature on which performance of a processor depends is the speed that is the number of instructions executed per second. Speed depends primarily on the clock frequency in case of low end 8 bit microprocessors wherein high end processors it depends on superscalar and hyper threading technology which we will discuss later in this module. Power consumption of microprocessor is less as they are fabricated using MOS technology. Some processors are specially designed to operate at very low power so that they can be used in laptops, tablets and other handheld devices. Processing power of a microprocessor increases with increase in its word size as better resolution offers more accuracy. The same processor can be used for various applications by just changing the software programming making the microcontroller versatile device. Flexibility in software to achieve the desired results minimizes the size and complexity of hardware and reliability of the system is increased. Integration of more complex functionality into a microprocessor chip and production at a large scale reduces the cost of manufacturing making it less expensive. Some of the applications are listed here. Electronic toys starting from small cars, wristwatches, aeroplane, singing and dancing animals and dolls to remote controlled helicopters are developed using the microprocessors. By changing external output devices, different applications can be developed. Example of this is handheld devices which can be used for measurement purpose, educational purpose or entertainment purpose and communication. Entertainment industry has transformed not only to colorful world from black and white, but it has reached to new height of high definition, 3D, virtual reality, animations and graphics by using very high tech audio visual instruments and sophisticated video recording equipment and multimedia. Applications such as washing machines, microwave ovens, six sense technology refrigerators have become inevitable part of today's home. We all wish to work in the office which is well equipped with the technological advancement. Microprocessors play very important role in office automation as a building block of biometric systems for recording the attendance of employees in the organizations. Electronic publication is used for word processing and desktop publishing for daily activities such as letters, drafts, reports, 
proposals and presentations etc collaboration through electronic meeting of group and video conferencing is need of today's business administrative and scientific activities multimedia systems and electronic document management systems are also part of office automation systems in automobile for automatic control of many functions such as guided vehicle system airbag control speed control electronic dashboard are used high end vehicle can have as many as 100 microprocessors or microcontrollers performing different tasks in entertaining equipment like television cable tv set top box remote control music players video games musical instruments for maintaining the quality of audio and video signal microcontrollers or microprocessors are used for monitoring the health of a patient at home as well as in clinics and in ultra modern diagnostic medical instrumentation microprocessors are used in aircraft navigation systems to control cabin pressure temperature and other parameters as well as for safety and comfort of passengers inside the aircraft and on a ground station for quality control grading and sorting of vegetables and fruits to control greenhouse parameters and in smart farming microprocessors are not only used as a part of curriculum and as a trainer kit but they are also used in handheld portable devices which are used in smart classroom and in distance education mode beginning of microprocessor era was the result of industrial revolution which started with the invention of the transistor by john bardeen bratton and shockley in 1947 at bell laboratories the era of silicon technology started with the invention of silicon integrated circuit with integration of entire electronic circuit containing many transistors diode and resistors on a single chip invention of integrated circuit further resulted in a small scale integrated circuit that is ssi technology integrated circuits was designed for customer application at that time progress in ic technology further resulted in the integration of all functional units of a central processing unit onto a single chip this single chip was called computer on chip it was developed by intel in 1971 it consisted of more than 2000 silicon gate transistors and was named as 4004 this was the beginning of modern technological world 4004 microprocessor was able to perform data transfer arithmetic logic control transfer and input output control operations though it was called computer on chip intel 4004 microprocessor was not a complete system itself other supporting chips were interfaced to the 4004 microprocessor to complete a full system supporting chips were used for providing the functions named as latching the address of a memory memory interface keyboard and display interface parallel io communication with external devices some more chips with functionality static ram clock generator standard memory interface erasable prom were added to make the entire system it was mainly developed for programmable calculators microprocessor 8008 was brought into market by intel around 1972 it was fabricated using pmos technology 
and was designed initially for only one customer. Set of 48 instructions was used to perform different operations. Instruction set was entirely different than 4004. It was capable of addressing 16 KB of memory with the help of 8 bit address. Data bus size was also 8 bit. Level of stack was increased to 7 from 3. Interrupts were introduced to process the request of I.O. devices, but there was no instruction provided to disable the interrupt. To overcome the limitations of memory, address bus size, instruction execution speed and need of improvement in interrupt capabilities, the 8008 was modified with some features and was named as 8080. It was introduced by Intel in 1974. It was fabricated using NMOS technology. It was truly the first microprocessor designed for microprocessor market using 40 pin package. Memory size was increased to 64 KB. Size of address bus was increased to 16 bit for calculating the 16 bit address for increased memory. Instruction execution speed was increased to 50,000 instructions per second which was 10 times faster than 8008. It was TTL compatible. Limitations of 8080 were it required external oscillator and system control chip with 3 different power supply voltages plus 5 volt minus 5 volt and plus 12 volt. With increasing popularity of Intel microprocessors, other companies brought their products in market namely Z80 by Zlog, M6800 by Motorola and 8800 by Altair. The speciality of Altair 8800 was that its basic language interpreter was written by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, while its assembler program was written by Digital Research Corporation. Altair 8800 was used in first personal computer. Continuous improvement in silicon technology resulted in frequent upgradation of existing hardware. Intel Corporation came up with modified version of 8080 microprocessor which was named as 8085 in 1976. 8085 was the most popular microprocessor among all 8-bit microprocessors. Let us now see the information about building blocks and some important features of this popular 8-bit microprocessor. The 8085 is a 40 pin microprocessor which consists of arithmetic logic unit. It is the brain of microprocessor which performs arithmetic and logical operations on 8 bit data. To provide the input data in binary form to the arithmetic logic unit, registers are used. ALU is constructed using combinational logic circuit. These registers are nothing but the shift registers that you have studied in the course of digital electronics. These are known as temporary storage register, register as they can be used to store the data and instructions while the processing is going on. They can be used to store intermediate data as well as final result of the operation. Timing and control unit is necessary for control of functioning of various building blocks and proper coordination between all building blocks. Clock signal is used to synchronize the operations of timing and control unit. Input and output devices are necessary for communication between microprocessor and user. For example, Keyboard is required to enter 
the input data and display devices are required to display the output. To establish the communication between these external devices and memory with microprocessor, a group of input and output conducting lines are used. These lines collectively known as bus form the interfacing unit. The bus lines are divided into different groups those are data bus, address bus and control bus according to the function they carry out. Detailed hardware and software of microprocessor will be covered in a separate module on 8085. Let us now discuss some important features of 8085. Around 246 instructions are used to perform various operations including interrupts, timers, memory and I.O. functions. Clock generator circuit and system controller were integrated into the microprocessor chip itself. Serial I.O. was also introduced. As there are limited number of pins, data bus and address bus are multiplex to offer dual function. Multiplexing of address and data bus reduces the number of PCB tracks between 8051 and memory and I.O. chips. Like 4004, 8085 microprocessor also required external chips which offered the functions of ROM, RAM, 8-bit address latch, programmable timer and counter to make a complete system. Memory addressing capacity was same as that of 8080. As the name indicates, it was able to work with operating voltage plus 5 volt. It was used in space mission and education field as training kit and as a part of curriculum. Even today, it is in use as introductory course on microprocessors. 8-bit microprocessors were followed by the 16-bit microprocessor named as 8086. 8086 is a complex instruction set computer fabricated using HMOS technology. It consists of two functional units namely execution unit and bus interfacing unit. It operates with clock frequencies from 6 to 10 megahertz. It can perform 16 bit unsigned and 8 bit signed arithmetic operations including multiplication and division. It can execute 2.5 million instructions per second. Memory size is 1 megabyte. Multiply and divide instructions are added to the instruction set. Concept of cache memory was introduced for the first time in 8086. Cache memory is used to fetch few instruction bytes in a queue before execution of previous instruction is over. 8086 microprocessor was a part of a computer used in office automation applications such as spreadsheets, word processor, spelling checkers and computer based thesaurus. Next member of ATX family is 8186. It has on chip timer and interrupt control unit. Timer unit consists of three timers out of which two timers generate the waveform that can be used as a clock source for external devices. Interrupt control unit of 80186 controls all internal and external interrupts. Some very powerful built-in I.O. features and 10 new instructions were added. It was capable of working with maximum speed of 16 megahertz. This processor was used mostly in industrial control applications. Intel introduced 80286 processor in 1982. It was designed for multitasking and multi-user environment. Independent instruction unit and address unit 
were added to the microprocessor chip. Instruction execution speed of 80286 is 4 million instructions per second. It was available in three different versions, namely 6 megahertz, 8 megahertz, and 20 megahertz. Memory addressing capacity was 16 MB and virtual memory addressing capacity was 1 GB. It supports two modes of operation, real and protected. Protected mode operation was introduced for downward processor compatibility. It can switch between protected mode and real mode. In protected mode, segment registers are used as memory address pointers rather than containing direct part of the address. While protected mode allows safe execution of multiple programs at the same time by protecting each program in memory. DOS system operates in real mode while Windows OS 2 and Unix operate in protected mode. In real mode, segment registers act just as they do in 8086-8088. 80286 provides virtual memory while switching from real mode of operation to protection mode. Limitations of the 80286 microprocessors are size of ALU is 16 bit, maximum segment size is 64K. It is not able to switch easily from real to protected mode and back to real mode. Protected mode of 80286 was largely ignored and only DOS was preferred as operating system. The 80386 was Intel's first 32-bit microprocessor. Size of internal registers is 32-bit. It can address 16 megabyte of physical memory and it can work with clock frequency range from 16 megahertz to 33 megahertz. Most important feature of this microprocessor is that the memory management unit is added to the processor to manage the memory with the help of an operating system. 80386 supports three modes of operation namely virtual, paging and protection. It is available in different versions such as DX, SX, SL, SLC and EX. DX and SX chips are identical except that SX is a low cost version. Operating systems used for 80386 are Windows 3.1, OS 2. These are used for DX as well as SX. SL, SLC is low power CPU and is very similar to 386SX microprocessor. It works with the clock frequency 20 to 20 megahertz. It consists of an execution unit, instruction prefetch unit, instruction pre-decode unit, control and protection unit along with bus control unit, segmentation unit and paging unit. It is designed for laptop. Special power management features are added that allow the system to run on batteries. It can address 32 megabyte memory. 386SL chip was designed with special support for Lotus Intel Microsoft expanded memory functions and cache controller. Cache controller was designed to control a 64 KB microprocessor cache. Power management logic was introduced to meet the low power consumption requirements of portable computers and laptop systems. Several sleep modes are offered by 386SL processor for power conservation. Real memory size is 4 GB while virtual memory is 64 TB. It supports three operating modes, real, protect and virtual 86 mode. It uses graphical user based operating system that is Windows. 
all the peripherals with DMA RAM refresh controller and JTAG test logic were integrated into the processor chip. Programmable chip selection logic was also included for selecting different peripheral chips. It was specially designed for embedded system applications such as satellites, robotics and satellite phone. It operates at 3 volt. The next family member was 80486 which consists of 80386 like microprocessor and 80387 like numeric processor, integrated floating point processor with dedicated local bus, built in parity checker and parity generator circuit and 8k byte cache memory. It works with clock frequency 50 megahertz and executes 50 million instructions per second which takes 25 nanosecond time to execute one instruction. 80486 is available in different versions 486DX2 and 486SX. 486DX2 is a double clock version which uses two separate clock frequencies for execution of instructions and memory transfer. Clock frequency 66 megahertz is used for execution of instructions while clock frequency 33 megahertz is used for memory transfer. 80486SX is also a double clock version processor but its on chip floating point processor is disabled. 80486SX4 is a tripling clock version. It runs at two different clock speeds 100 megahertz and 75 megahertz. Clock frequency 33 megahertz used for memory transfer is multiplied by factor 3 to provide 100 megahertz while clock frequency 25 megahertz which is used for execution of instructions is also multiplied by a factor 3 to get 75 megahertz value. Operating voltage of SX4 version is 3.3 volt. Next processor in ATX family was named as Pentium instead of 80586. It is 16 bit processor. It consists of two integer processors which support parallel processing known as superscalar architecture. One floating point processor for real number processing to separate level cache memory, one for instruction and another for data transfer, a paging unit, virtual memory, parity checker and generator and branch prediction logic. It is available in different versions Pentium, Pentium Pro, Pentium 2, Pentium 3 and Pentium 4. In Pentium there are two versions. Version 1 is available with two different clock frequencies 60 megahertz and 66 megahertz clock frequency and it executes 110 million instructions per second. Pentium version 2 is available with clock frequency 100 megahertz and it executes 150 million instructions per second. It can address either 4 GB or 64 GB memory. It uses 36 bit address bus to address 64 GB. Pentium Pro is capable of executing three instructions that conflict per clock cycle because of three integer processors. Level 1 cache is increased to 16K from 8K. Level 2 cache is increased to 256K from 8K. It was designed for multi-user and high-end graphics applications. Pentium 2 Level 2 cache was placed on a small circuit board along with the Pentium 2 module to improve the performance. This onboard L2 cache operates at a speed of 133 MHz. It stores 512 KB of information. 
clock frequency 100 megahertz is used for memory transfer 8 nanosecond sb ram is used for higher speed transfer it is used in motion video and 3d imaging pentium 3 pentium 3 is available in two versions slot 1 and flip chip size of cache in slot 1 version is 512k while it is 256k in flip chip version sse instructions are added to speed up floating point calculations and parallel calculations it is suitable for 3d rendering imaging video streaming speech recognition and audio applications it operates on xp vista pentium 4 it is high performance microprocessor based on new burst microarchitecture hyper pipeline technology was introduced to improve the processing efficiency 20 stage pipeline technology was used longer pipelines allow cpu core to reach higher frequencies and increase cpu performance it uses clock speed of 3.2 gigahertz other features that were eventually added to the family are 64 bit instruction set and virtualization technology pentium 4 was extreme addition with size of level 2 cache increased to 2 m b or 4 mb and increased speed due to copper interconnections celeron it is a low end pentium available at cheaper rate it does not have l2 cache size of l1 cache is smaller than pentium instruction execution speed is less in a p6 based celeron processor multiprocessing feature is disabled xeon size of l1 cache is increased to 32k different sizes of l2 cache are used these sizes vary from 512 kb to 2m there are four xeons in the same system level 3 cache is added and size of level 2 cache is increased it is also used as workstation and servers core 2 and multi core processors these are advanced processors and can access up to 1 terabyte memory these processors support 64 bit arithmetic operations processing efficiency is increased as each core executes a separate task in a program fifth generation processors these processors are manufactured with hyper threading technology for efficient multitasking iris graphics is used for advanced video and photo editing other pentium processors are intel core i7 5550 with 4 mb cache two cores and four threads that operate at 2 gigahertz clock frequency i7 core triple five seven that operates on clock frequency 3.1 gigahertz atm and atom let us now summarize our discussion with whatever we have seen in this part of module one we started our discussion with introduction to microprocessor required electronics background then we started discussing about 4-bit microprocessors and 8-bit microprocessors. We have also seen common features of all the microprocessors and block diagrams of microcontroller based systems and the block diagram of 8-bit microprocessor that is 8085. We have also discussed the features and limitations of 8-bit microprocessors. We have discussed the entire journey of microprocessor from its beginning stages to today's most advanced microprocessors. In early stages of development, 
many supporting chips were required to complete a computer system processing power was improved with increase in size of bits and speed with clock frequency at initial stages power requirement was reduced considerably in higher versions with introduction of power management unit clock frequency was increased from 3 megahertz to up to 3 gigahertz the memory size was increased from 16 kb to 64 tb two separate clock frequencies are used for execution of instructions and memory transfer introduction of various operating modes real protected and virtual introduction of cache to speed up the operation use of superscalar hyperthreading and multicore technology thank you